Hey everyone, let's talk litmus paper. Litmus paper is filter paper that has been covered with an organic substance called litmus. And it is a substance that changes colors based off of what the pH is. So red litmus paper, blue litmus paper, and there's also this yellow litmus paper that is um, more sensitive and changes a variety of colors depending on what the pH is. So we're doing a quick test here with vinegar, which is your acetic acid, Deer Park water, and some ammonia. I poured some into my beakers here. Okay, litmus turns red in the presence of an acid. With red litmus paper in acids like vinegar, it doesn't really appear to do much. It just mainly looks wet. All right, but you'll see when we test blue litmus paper that it does change. Okay, so if I dip red litmus paper in water, okay, it just appears to be wet. And red litmus paper in a base will turn blue. Okay, so bases turn blue. If I take blue litmus paper and I dip it into water, you can see more of a distinction between the blue near my fingers and the red down at the bottom. Blue litmus in water will just appear wet, so it doesn't change it red or blue. This looks a little wet. And bases turn litmus blue, BB. Okay, bases are bitter and they turn litmus blue. So on this yellow litmus paper, we see a pH scale range, one to six, so it goes red, orange, yellow, and then a pH of seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, goes from light green to blue to almost purple. So we can test the yellow litmus in the water and see that it is this color red, match it up here and say, okay, this is close to a pH of three, okay, for our vinegar. Yellow litmus in water, okay, stays this yellowy color. So it's close to a pH of seven, which water is neutral. And, Yellow litmus in the presence of the base, again, turns it blue, showing us very close to a pH of 10 or so for 10 or 11 when it comes to our ammonia. So remember, bases turn litmus blue, red, and blue, okay, for acids and for bases.